guys hey you guys it's your girl kayla b you know me and i'm coming at you with another video yes another video yes this is my makeup geek haul mostly because i am not purchasing anything this month i mean yes 21 days of beauty is going on and it's kind of tempting but i have so much products and I guess I was just talking to Leanne and she was like, oh, um, you never need it. And I, I agree with that. You never need it. You want it. It makes you feel better. But um, I just want to play with my makeup that I got from my subscription boxes and the new ones that I bought last month. And that's it. Like, that's basically it. Um, also, I received some Jeffree Star products from my cousin that I still haven't tested out. So I'm like... Yo, I got so much makeup and I need to do my Pat McGrath review for my concealer, for the concealer and the powder. So, yeah. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for checking out my little channel. Checking out my little channel. If you like what's on my lips, it's a Fenty Beauty Diamond Milk. Yes, and I feel like I'm like on my eyes. is the one to cover, not cover FX, color pops, um, little, little single shadows, you know, those little pots. I don't know what they're called. It's just one of those. Um, I really don't like that those are like limited edition now. Before it used to be like you could buy them all together. It just, Color Pop has been changing. Anyways, let's see what I got in for Makeup Geek. Because I just remember one thing because it was in a Tri Beauty box. And I couldn't justify buying a $40 box just for one product. So let's see what else I got, you know. It is what it is. I bought this last month and it's just getting to me now. So this is how the box comes. It comes all packaged up really, really well. Come with a thank you card and my receipt. So Makeup Geek was doing sale. I don't know if it's still on. If it's still on, I will be linked down below. Yeah, go check my description box because it'd be some important stuff down there. You know, how to contact me if you want to contact me, if you want to talk to your girl. Anyways, um, I got the shade um a blaze and their duo chrome highlighter i don't know if they're gonna keep on having these but it was very very interesting to me when i saw it was an option on a tri beauty box you know subscription box so let's see the color so it comes with a nice marketing mirroring packaging and it says a blaze on the back it comes with a mirror that looks like it could be a blush shade for me or a highlight like it's it's gorgeous like right here you think that it's bronze but then turn it in a certain angle it's like bronze and like red it's just ooh. so you probably see the difference after you know i swatched it, it has that little gold too Ugh. this is what it looks like on my hand my finger it's like a subtle but blinding highlight nothing special i was really hoping for like that wow bam thank you ma'am but only 4.99 so on to the next product <laughs> for the next thing i got for like 2.99 was one of their nine pan old packaging well palettes i don't know i just wanted to do like a makeup geek type of palette like create my own makeup palette it also has a bra i mean not a brush has a mirror in it and then it just has the nine wells then i got the shadows to put in the wells so i'm really excited about the um the makeup palette because i kind of actually always wanted that i always wanted to buy it like the shades to put in there but it was so expensive and these were like $1.99 a shade how I feel like a single eyeshadow should be it should be $1.99 to five like it shouldn't be over five bucks for a single eyeshadow that's in my opinion but it is what it is so I got two foiled two duochrome and then the rest is matte that's the different packagings the white one the white and pink and black ones are the matte and you've got the like chrome and then you've got like the hot rainbow chrome hmm. for the duo chrome shadows i got steampunk that's this one and voltage that's this one looked prettier online 
For the mattes, I got Carbon Dark Roast Americano, which is this, and then this is Mango Tango, which has like a little bit of reflex of sparkle, gold sparkle, and taboo. Then for the foil shades, I got In the Spotlight and Grandstand. So this is my palette all together. I just thought it would be a nice neutral palette. I wanted to put a green in, but none of the greens were available. And um, yeah, none of the greens were available. So, well, they were available by the square shape, not in the circle shape. And it's very, very heavy and I, I just like it. So this and all the shadows I am actually happy for. The highlighter was in, I could have not bought that. But it is what it is. I don't have this in store. I, don't, I wasn't able to swatch it. I wanted to try this out. So you will see a review on Makeup Geek Shadows and a full, full review of that highlighter in a later video. I hope you guys like this video, me unboxing my order from Makeup Geek. And have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And stay safe, stay healthy. Because, you know, we still don't got no cure. So, um, yeah. Everything will be linked down below. And uh, bye, you guys. I've been really liking this bow, like, bow life.